the first ever red gameplay in NBA 2K24. 2K matched me up against Duke Dennis, She's a holic, and I'm Davis at Community Day. And I had to lock in and try to help my team win this game. So subscribe to the channel for more 2K24 gameplay and build videos. And like the video right now if you're Team Double H for this game. You're going to see the new rec jerseys and even new rec features in action today. So let's get straight into this video. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double H. Back at it with yet another banger. We got the first ever rec gameplay in NBA 2K24 for you guys and as you can see i'm in the wreck right now and we gotta point out some things there is a no squads door and a squads door let me know what you guys think about that in the comments i think that is a massive w for all rec players because personally when i play rec most of the time i'm going into no squads regardless so with or without a squad regardless so the no squads door I'm definitely going to be making some content in there. So that's one thing to point out. Another thing, look at the player cards. I think the level is the 39 thing. Yeah, so it says we're level 39. It also has our icon of what console we're on. So at Community Day, we were on PlayStation. So you see the PlayStation logo is right next to the gamer tag. The gamer tag, by the way, is like the Q4. They just gave us all like random numbers like that as our gamer tags. So yeah, it has the PlayStation logo on your player cards. Then there's the build name. You got the overall and the level. Now, the only thing that's missing here is the rep. I don't know if that just wasn't on there yet because once again, this was a demo version of the game we were playing. Like we couldn't walk outside the rec center and see the park. Like, and trust me, I tried to do that. I did try to do that. You couldn't do that. You just got an error code. So yeah, that's what the player card's looking like. I'm hoping rep is added to the final game on the player card. Cause like, why would you not put the rep on there? But yeah, W for the PlayStation and Xbox logos and W for squads and no squads uh, features in rec. Now, before we get into the gameplay, I want to show you guys the build I was using in the rec and then tell you guys a couple things before we get into the rec gameplay that you need to hear without judging the rec gameplay. So I made a lockdown for our team. Now, my team was me solo grinding Trey Riggs and your boy Tonio. I made a six, seven, small four lockdown with max wingspan and a 92 strength. So he had his weight up a little bit. Yeah, and I just made a lockdown to, you know, shoot threes when I need to catch and shoot and guard ball, okay? And run the fast break, of course, and use the dunk meter. So keep in mind, a lot of the builds that people were using in these rec gameplays were builds that I would like to call 2K day builds. We knew our animations were gonna be like randomized and stuff and we knew like we didn't really know how to play the game yet so we were kind of upgrading things we knew we would need in that scenario which is another thing to point out we did we couldn't pick our jump shots we could not pick our settings we did have badges but all of them were bronze just like i said in my builder breakdown video you start with all your badges on bronze so we just had all our badges on bronze all of our animations literally every single animation was randomized so we were not in control of any of that some people would have a meter on some would have it off some would be on early late timing some wouldn't none of us had a single badge as well so i wouldn't take this gameplay too seriously but it is fun to show y'all something before 2k24 does drop and once again this was a demo version of the game we weren't playing the final version of the game as you can see this is the build we were going with we are six seven like i said max now these are the stats uh we have a 98 perverted defense 96 steel or 87 block 72 interior no ball handle so i wasn't dribbling or anything 60 pass he's 78 three-pointer uh 92 strength 80 speed 76 excel 95 stamina 78 vertical but as you can see the build came out to be a def hybrid defender compared to literally three locks tony allen Jaden mcdaniels and jimmy butler so this was the build i was using in the gameplay without further ado let's jump into it now it is time to play the rec center so as you can see we were going to the no squads tunnel with my team now obviously now by the way you do have to run into the tunnel this year but we were just timing it up to match up with the other teams so we could get on the same team and that kind of stuff so you're not going to be running into no squads and getting your full five anyways but yeah you see the locker room's the same we're wearing the yellow purple jerseys for mamba i think that's what it's gonna be like in season one but now don't freak out about this court i don't know if this is going to be the court you play on in the rec in 2k24 because we were playing a demos version of 2k24 i mean the court literally says community on it so i don't know if there's gonna be different court designs 
different court locations. I genuinely don't know. But anyways, we were all on PlayStation at Community Day. The first thing to notice is in the bottom left that game chat works for both teams. So you could talk in game chat to the other team in the rec center. Now, as you can see, everyone, like I said, was on PlayStation during this in-person event at Community Day. And everyone had random letters and names as their gamer tag. So let me tell you which person was which on these teams. So on the far right, number 20, the shot creating three level threat. That is I'm Davis right there. And then next to him, the shot creating three level threat. Number 36 is Cheeseaholic. And then the center in the middle of the two way interior threat is King Jordan. And then right next to him is the skilled stretch, of course, that is Duke Dennis. And then on the left, the hybrid defender, their lockdown is Spillboy. Don't know who Spillboy is. He's actually the guy that runs 2K Labs. So that's 2K Labs, the guy that gets all the analytics for all those videos and stuff. So let me know, rate this team from one to 10 in the comments. Like, is, this is a stacked team. You got Davis, Cheese, Duke, uh, 2K Labs, uh, King Jordan. Like, that's a solid team. Yeah, you see, they got the purple and yellow jersey. Jerseys. I don't know if these are going to be the season one jerseys, maybe. But yeah, uh, we're the bottom team. They're the top team. The takeovers are random because you can choose the takeovers. So you don't even pay attention to those uh, on there. You're going to see my center has a defensive take on the scoreboard, but he doesn't pop defensive take when he gets in the game. Now, let's pause again. So on the far right, the hybrid defender, that is me, number one. That is me right there. Now on the left of him, the inside out glass cleaner, that is my boy Trey Riggs. Now, I helped everyone make their builds, I think, except for Solo. So I know what all these builds were. Uh, Trey Riggs was on a popper. Y'all saw my lock build. And then in the middle is the two-way diamond big. That is your boy Tonio's build. Uh, I made his build. It was a 7-3 with like 92 pass accuracy, 99 rebound. 99 strength so he was literally just max weight max wingspan 7-3 the biggest you can make a my player and then on the left of him is the defensive menace the other lock build i'm going to show my lockdown builds video the one that i didn't make for this rec gameplay but it's the other lock i have that one's pretty nice grinding that is grinding on that lock build right there and then on the left of him is my boy solo on the three point shot hunter build he has no driving dunk on that build but he had a layup he had uh dribbling he had shooting he had all that good stuff but anyways it's almost about that time I'm tip off but we gotta pause it right quick the player matchup for the rec center this is very important so it's just like last year where you can see your opponent's matchup you can see his points rebounds assists uh three point percentage which is huge there's no record on here but there's something to notice that i didn't notice when i was actually playing is there is a badge spider graph now i never clicked on that because i never saw it when i was actually playing i didn't even notice it but I think what this means is it's going to show a spider graph of what badges your opponent has equipped, which is huge. Finally, we don't just have to only look at the three bar percentage for our opponents to scout them out. Now we can actually look to see what badges they're running. So let's say someone pulls up with me on the twos court and I see that they are not running any limitless range. Now I know, okay, I don't have to guard that dude from the hash. So that's a massive W. Anyways, let's move on from that. Tip off is here. Let's get into the gameplay. Now, once again, we couldn't choose our animations, our controller settings. We all had all bronze badges. Uh, that dude said that about right there. <laughs> yeah, shout out 2K Labs. Yeah, new scoreboard. And we were only playing this game to halftime. So as soon as it hits the third quarter, the game's over. So we were playing to halftime because we didn't, you know, we were on a schedule. We didn't have time to play the full game. Anyways, my boy Solo bringing up the ball. He dots me in the corner. Uh, you know, 2K Labs was all over me right here. I think they were playing man and we were playing zone. I think, actually, no, they were, they had cheese in the corners. I don't know what they were doing, but another out of, actually, no, that was your boy, Tony. We got an offensive three. So, got, yo, shout out to Tonio, bro. He was on the phone to start this game. He was mad distracted. Look at him. Look at him. He's just standing still at half court. So he was really distracted in the beginning of this game. It was looking bad. Uh, he was getting mad off with the three seconds. Look at in the paint. Davis with a pump fake. And he somehow made that. Didn't green it. Uh, so he made that contest live. I don't know what the contest was. I don't even think there was a contest. Uh, you see him in the corner. Wide open. Full bar. And I missed. Yo, that was literally a full bar, bro. If I had no meter, that would have been green. The 20% green boost would have given me that green. That, that slow ass, terrible ass jump shot 2K gave me, bro. That should have been green. Anyways. We're back on defense. We're down two to zero. I'm on that cheese. He's going to the basket. We're playing in a two, three zone right here. I'm on the top of the two, three Duke. I'm a guy at Duke Dennis on the top of the key. Three seconds. Duke trying to drive on me. Get that out of here, Duke. That's a hundred percent smothered. That's, that's going in the front row. Stop playing with me. That skilled stretch got nothing on me. We got the lock build out here today. We got the lock build out here today, y'all. But yeah, we were going crazy. Solo bringing up the ball. We got to win this game, bro. Backdoor, easy dunk. I caught cheese lacking. Come on now. Let's get right. Y'all see the takeover percentage moving up in the top right? Yes, takeover is based off percentages. You see the team take, the single take. And I didn't notice any of that when I was actually playing, bro. I don't know how. I was too busy looking at the game. And believe me, getting bumpy. 
I'm getting bumpy on Om Davis right now. Come on now. They got uh, King Jordan posting up, bro. That's good defense, bro. You're not making that contested stuff no more this year. Like, the paint defense was a little 50-50. Sometimes it looked good, really good. Sometimes it's questionable. You see me dotting your boy Tonio on the roll. Easy pass. Simple pass. Uh, teammate Greg going up. Our takeover bars at 53%. Bad reach by me, but I'm trying to get back on defense. Davis bringing up the ball. I'm here. I'm here. They're setting screens. That she's going back door. Tonio's right there. Hands up. That's good defense. 13% on that contest right there. If you saw that, I'm wide open on that back or that fast break. I don't know why Solo didn't hit me right there. there. Must have not seen me. Pick grinding on the late back door. But look at Cheese. He jumped early, but got the steal on the way down. Duke Dennis on the fast break. Get that out of here. Trey Riggs with the block. Yo, what's going on, dude? That, that boy Duke getting swatted left and right right now, man. Uh, 2K Labs inbounds to the I'm Davis. He pump fakes a wide open three. And I'm there. I'm there. That's a heavily because I got a 98 perimeter defense, 31% contested, even though I didn't have a hand up. Hey, that's the power of a 98 perimeter defense and bronze badges right there, y'all. Anyways, uh, we went out of bounds there. That was like a weird possession right there. Uh, I'm getting clipped by the screen. I'm Davis Dots. Duke on the back door and Duke with the nice and one standing dunk. Okay, Duke. <laughs> Go crazy then. That was a fire animation. He's at the free throw line. Uh, let's see. Yo. Did he try to miss that? What's going on there? They gave him that animation where it looks like he's trying to miss, like at the end of the game to get his own rebound. But yeah, he, he missed time that one. Solo with the ball. Hits grinding in the corner. Uh, they were playing a 2-3 as well right here. You can see they were, both teams were in a 2-3 zone. Uh, we were. It was fun. It was fun playing this in person because we were talking crazy. We were talking crazy to each other. I think I had a lane steal on cheese that y'all are going to see soon. And I was like, where are you throwing that to, cheese? So this was a fun game to play. Uh, even though none of us had, uh, you know, could choose our animations or anything like that. Getting into the next possession, we hit solo. They're going for a random double team. I don't know what they're going on. They got 2K Labs coming out the corner like crazy. I'm back door. The solo greens the layup, but misses it because he got blocked. And look at them leaking out on the break. She's getting the wide open dunk. But yeah, I think that green boost you're going to see in this gameplay with the no meter is kind of crazy. Like it's it seems like it's really easy to green without the meter, but I'm probably going to leave the meter on the start just so I can like adjust to it a little bit. But yeah, eventually I'm going to have to take that off because it looks pretty insane. Solo with the walk back wide open three. Yo, I feel bad for solo. That jump shot 2K gave him was so slow and bad. Look at Davis wide open green. Grinding doesn't get the block, and they're leaking on the break. They all their points on the break right now and backdoors. They are up eight to four with just a minute and 40 left in the first. Remember, we're only playing the halftime, so we got like basically one quarter left. I hit Tony on the post up. They're all crashing down. He's going to end up forcing that up, and uh, yeah, 23% contest. Y'all see, Tony has a max wingspan, full strength, 7-3. Somehow, Solo doesn't get that steal. Actually, I know why, because he has a 25 steal, so that makes sense. Even if you're in the lane with a 25 steal, as y'all saw, you're not going to get that. Once again, a forced layup. Good defense. The center was walling up. Bad pass, though, by Tonio. He had a 92 pass I see, by the way. Still couldn't get that through with bronze defensive badges. Probably should have hit me. Look at Davis flopping, though. Davis is flopping. I didn't even see that while we were playing. Nah. Up 10 to 4. Or up 10 to 4, and Davis is already flopping. That's crazy. That's crazy. I did not notice that. But minute left in the first quarter, or the first half, I guess, technically want to say, and Solo shooting another heavily, but he gets fouled. Oh, uh, yeah, that jump shot was just so slow he was using. That's It's unfortunate that he got that jump shot because, uh, yeah, uh, that that's tough. He was not getting no shots off. First free throw, though. Oh, my. Uh, very late. No one can hit a free throw right now. No one can time their free throw. He misses again. 55% early. Oh, nah. Another free throw. Okay, he gets it to go. 68%. So we're down 10 to 5 with 58 seconds left. Anyways, cheese with the ball. 47 seconds. They try to backdoor. Easy steal. Where are you throwing to that? Cheese. Come on now, I'm in the lanes. I'm in the lanes. Solo with another shot, and he's hitting the moon. Oh, my God. It was open, though. 30 seconds, grinding in the corner, and he's hitting the moon, too, yo. Why can none of us shoot right now? Everyone is shooting earlies, very earlies. This is bad, but look at grinding with the good defense. Duke had the wide open dunk, but mid-animation, it was too slow. The defense got back. Hey, I'm open for three. Full bar. Actually, that wasn't really a full bar, but... Low-key, if I had a 20% boost with a meter off, that probably would have gone in. But I should have made the first one anyways, bro. This meter, I hate... Y'all know I hate playing with meter. I don't care if it's a new jump shot, bro. I hate playing with meter. I suck with meter. Davis with the ball, 10 to 7. 10 seconds left. Davis going to the basket, gets everyone to jump in. I'm not going to lie. Hey, there were hands up, bro. How did that go in? See, that's the thing I was talking about. Like, that was only like a 6% or something. And he, I know he greened it because he has meter off. But sometimes the paint defense looks good. And then sometimes on that position, it's just like... What is that, yo? Like, is the I'm telling you, y'all, the green with the the green boost with no meter on layups looks a little overpowered. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, I don't even think that last shot counts as a shot attempt for me, but 
we're going into the last quarter because or the second half if you want to call it because we're only playing a half time so remember that i'm getting i'm not gonna lie the passes were late a lot of people weren't making good reads on this team uh you know someone would be open we pass it late it was just bad we were on a slow start so we're down five four minutes and 40 seconds to go everyone's crashing right here tonio forces up something i get the offensive rebound i should have probably just gone up man i should have said f it and just gone up with that i pass out solo with the ball right here six seconds time is tick it goes up for the layup misses we don't get the rebound look at duke that boy duke is leaking on the break i mean damn four minutes and 20 seconds to go Solo bringing up the ball. And at this point, bro, it's just looking bad. Like, it's looking bad. Our offense is freaking terrible right now. We have to find a way to win this game. I only have two points, bro. I got to lock in and carry the team. Trey Riggs passes out of that. Probably should have done that. Uh, I don't think he had bailout, by the way. And he made that pass. You know, you need an 87 pass accuracy for bronze bailout. And he made that pass. Just FYI. Solo wide open. Doesn't shoot it. Eight seconds left. I get the ball in the corner. Going to the basket. And I get the worst dunk animation possible what's good with you 2k they hating on me but anyways i call it the back door on the inbound on three people and i'm getting that standing dunk come on now i don't even think i upgraded my standing dunk on this build uh but yeah y'all can probably rewind and look at what my standing dunk rating was we got four points assist a rebound and a steal for a garden i'm davis i went for the lane and you can see if you go for lanes like you're completely out of position at that point so you don't want to reach out of lanes too much or else you're going to be screwed anyways i'm guarding cheese out here davis driving in gets tony with a jump i don't know why tony was jumping on that but that's green you making them pay for it 16 to 9 solo bringing up the ball right here three minutes and 20 seconds to go i don't know what's going on here but he misses the dunk and at this point i'm like yo yo and they're leaking on the break but granny with the clutch steal and davis with a horrible foul leading to a transition take foul that was huge right there we could have just been down nine but now instead we got the ball and we're down six so shout out to granny for that steal that was a big change of events right there that, that that definitely swung momentum or potential momentum that could have been gotten i don't know what we were doing on offense nothing was really working because everyone's jump shots were just slow or it, the only one who really had any ball handle was solo as well so our lineup wasn't really working too well but three seconds left out to solo he fades and honestly that fade animation looked good it looked like he made it too but he ends up missing and duke dennis man out on the break with his skilled stretch and we're down eight points remember the score 18 to 10 two minutes and 40 seconds left grinding wide up in the corner bang come on let's start this comeback 18 to 10 with 244 left remember that we were down eight davis was flopping okay now we down five i'm, I'm in on that i'm in on that you're not making that 75 per percent contested she's trying to steal that no i'm getting the standing dunk 18 to 15 that 98 perimeter defense looking different right now i probably should have gone for that lane but we don't get that cheese with the ball right here i'm here that was a potential blitz too now i'm looking back at this gameplay this is looking bad anyways they're up uh two gate lives open the corner six percent misses we get the rebound we're trying to run the break trey rigs out to me i'm running through traffic with the layup meter and that's green come on now the layup meter going crazy look at me finessing my way through traffic we pressing that DF davis we pressing that one point game just like that 40 seconds ago we were down eight and we pressing it give me that steal easy steal oh my god we gave it right back up to king jordan though oh my god we good we good we good down one minute 40 left i'm there cheese 98 perimeter defense that's an 81 percent contested i hit grinding for the easy assist and we have our first lead of the game now i have takeover look at the top right i didn't even notice this when i was playing bro i could have activated lock take or something and i didn't even know but anyways look at this cutscene. look at this cutscene. don't let it happen to y'all y'all play your first red game five second violation they are rattled your boy Tonio pops playmaking takeover on his center right now. You see the tornado takeover. And look at the cutscene again. I don't know what those cutscenes are. 2K, take that out the game, bro. Take it out. The, the cutscenes, the game is still going on. So you can't see what's going on or anything. Minute and 20 seconds left. We got the ball. And your boy Tonio with the offensive 30 seconds. Yeah, especially in the second gameplay, because this is the first and two gameplays. Tonio got so many three seconds, bro. It was bad. Anyways, we guard and ball right here. Davis with the ball. I literally could activate takeover right now, but my ass wasn't paying attention because I'm an idiot. Anyways, they give it to King Jordan in the paint. Out to Cheese Holly. He's got the ball. Minute and 10 left. They are down one. I got 2K Labs in the corner. Back over to Cheese. Grinding almost with the lane steal. They give it back to King Jordan. We got that clamped up. We got that clamped up. That's 100% contested. And Davis with another horrible foul on the transition take. 19 to 18 but solo misses the free throw yo a minute left 
pause it let me know what your predictions are in the comments down below we gotta secure we're on a 9-0 run right now the other team has not scored in a full two minutes tonio would take over you see he's got the tornado takeover that's playmaking takeover by the way y'all i already said that before just reminded y'all almost throws a turnover there oh my god grinding does not go up with the wide open three and solo just has to force something luckily we get the rion antonio greens the easy layup y'all they why is so many on my so many people on my team had no meter and i didn't get no meter like like what is this bro this dude had layup meter off he was green and everything but anyways they give it the cheese wide open three he missed for the line 25 seconds left on the fast play that's an easy two come on duke you're not getting that chase down easy fast break five point lead 23 seconds left we picking up i'm davis right here just grinding with the steal yo me and grinding going crazy with the steals in the last minute he dots still on the corner probably should have hit me on the fast break but he misses wide open five point game eight seconds left duke gets another dunk wide open dunk your boy finished with 10 points two assists two rebounds two steals two turnovers i could have popped double take right now but i didn't uh you see the first one is single take the second is double take the third is team take i could have popped double takeover right now bro but i did it because i didn't even notice i don't know what i was doing anyway solo finally makes the free throw second free throw he going for it right now and gives us the five point win as we end up beating duke cheese davis king jordan and 2k labs on a crazy comeback game went from 18 to 10 to 25 to 20. let's get into gameplay number two y'all now it's time for gameplay number two now as you can see i'm walking in the door now i want to explain a couple of things we were playing against a 2k league point guard on the other team his name is fana and they had some other good teammates on there as well they had hollywood at center they had tough they had a tea time they had iggy mo so they had a pretty good team right but one thing that they knew that we didn't know is about the nba template builds i just explained this in my breakdown video but basically they had like they were making nba template builds where they would get the jump shot and the animations for those nba players so they were getting those animations that they knew at least i think fana was but we didn't know about that so that was one advantage that they had i wish i knew about that but anyways getting into this game if we won this game our whole team would get logos and 200,000 vc so the winner of this game would get that because these are the best two teams at community today and every team that this team that we played against played uh lost by like 30 plus points 40 plus points so we had a big game in store and one thing that was frustrating me was those backdoor cuts we could not guard them but look at grinding he was on a slasher this game so he had hall of fame every slashing badge he was going crazy but look at i'm getting some bumps on finna right here we're gonna go over a lot of breakdown stuff in this gameplay you see Iggy Mo bails out right there i don't know if he had the pass like i see but look at i reach for the lane but I guess I didn't time it right or I wasn't in the perfect position. So they didn't give me the steal, even though I have a high steal rating. And he gets that easy catch and shoot three. Grinding gets fouled at the basket right here and 100% smothered. Misses both free throws. And <laughs> y'all gotta see this game comes out to be very close. So every point matters a lot. You see, I get dotted in the corner right here. Bro, is that not a full bar? Like a 78 three pointer, all bronze badges. And you're seeing me miss wide open fulls. So. Y'all are going to definitely have to take off your meter and get used to it. Otherwise, you're going to get these full bars. Because if you have a 20% green boost with no meter, that's green right there every single time. And I literally timed it perfect, too. Tony will go into the basket, but it doesn't matter if you're 7'3". If the, you know you got a rim protection on the basket, he's going to get that. And Fana gets the easy dunk on the fast break. And um, look at Fana going for the blitz. Doesn't get it right there. I don't know what his steal rating was, but he you can probably blitz regardless of your steal rating. Grinding with another dunk. He was on a slasher. Once again, I was still on the same lockdown build. And look at the backdoor cuts, bro. I'm telling you, we were just getting backdoor over and over. I don't know who was guarding the corners. I think it was like Trey Riggs, uh, Tony guarding the paint, someone else. But they were they had to step it up, bro, because the backdoors were getting out of hand. You see, they're still trying to blitz uh our point guard solo right there we're going to tonio on the post up he misses great defense by iggy mo he gets rewarded for that i'm picking up fana they going down the lane easy layup but he misses it because there was good defense on the back end. and look at solo why did he not pass you the ball earlier like solo you gotta throw that i'm wide open on the fast break but it's all good solo open three ends up mistiming it they get a fast break to fan and fan gets another easy dunk and just like that we're down seven early on 13 to six are we gonna get blown out like the other teams did y'all gonna have to find out but look at this solo had a 73 driving dunk and dunked on defensive takeover with a six three point guard that's interesting and then this steal animation like how is that not a steal 
I don't know. Maybe this is how bronze badges, but they get a lane right here. They hit Fana on the fast break. He's going to walk it back. We're trying to press him. They call a timeout. Reset things. This dude was wide open. I'm not going to lie. Whoever that was on the other team, I don't know which person that was, but he was missing a lot of opens and a lot of free throws. I hit grinding with the wide open standing dunk. And just like that, now it's a three-point game. 27 seconds left in the first. Look at that pass. I had a 60 pass accuracy. That's kind of a fast pass. But anyway, the Tonio dots me with a 92 pass. I can see I'm shooting over those. That's green. Our first green. And look at this. He didn't have his hand up. Hand down. Man down in 2K24. That is green. Literally timed it exactly the same as the open one. But they decided to give me that green. Anyways, uh, Fana is trying to get something to go. He doesn't have any room. We don't get the rebound, though. I don't know how. Their center wasn't 7'3". I don't know how tall he was. Maybe like 7 foot. But yeah, he gets that rebound. They try to run a little wrap around after the pass to the back door. Doesn't work. They shoot a heavily in the corner. Tonio with the rebound. I'm trying to tell him to throw it down. He gets fouled, though. And Solo had a 99 free throw on his build this game. So he adjusted a couple things. So we knew he wasn't going to miss no free throws now. But only at grinding with his pure slasher. Gets him out of the way, but still misses because it was good defense. And Fana was just shooting that thing, bro. He had already played a game. So have we. But he knew what jump shot he was getting with the NBA templates. He was going crazy, bro. He was... He was not missing open, bro. That dude was locked in. But Solo takes a contested layup right there. They throw it back down to Fana. Wide open fast break. They're up 7 points. 21 to 14. And once again, we're just playing the halftime. But look at the wide open miss dunk. I think that was tough right there. We get a wide open layup right here. Easy green right there. It's 21 to 16, bro. We're locked in. They get a wide open standing dunk. 23 to 16. And, I mean, Antonio clicks a button right there. I'm not going to lie. That's a steal. I mean, once again, our backdoor defense, bro. I don't know what they were doing because it was bad. We easily would have had a massive lead if we could just guard. Up. I mean, look at these back doors, bro. It just keeps happening over and over. They try to run that play again. Doesn't work. 23 to 18. And I get this poke animation. But of course, they pick it right back up. Like the one time I get a steal animation. But we're playing good paint defense. But then this dude just wide open in the corner. It's just like the points we were giving up were just so like it was just crazy bro we could have easily played better defense but anyways look at tony on a 7-3 backing him down gets the easy layup uh he had a 99 straight look at another steal animation for you right there i get the steal hit grinding on the fast break we're literally down six two minutes and 11 seconds left in the game because we're only playing a halftime two minutes down six need to make something happen tonio in the paint seven three post score of doom gets the layup four point game i go for a reach don't get it I'm guarding Fana right here, trying to get a stop, and Tonio gets AD for the three-second violation. But it's okay, because this dude right here could not shoot, bro. He could have made a free throw. That dude couldn't make a jump shot. That dude couldn't hit anything. I'm not going to lie. Um, back on defense right here, he gets a crab, uh, gets me behind him, and he misses that right there. You see his shot didn't speed up or anything. Notice that. We get the wide up and dunk, though. Two-point game. Minute and a half left, and bro, if grinding cuts that blitz a little tighter, we would have had a steal right there. It's all good, though. Probably should have read that lane, too. Another violation. Antonio gets another three-second defensive violation. But it don't matter because this dude could not shoot. I don't know which guy this was, but he could not shoot the ball. We're back on defense. They're trying to force a back door. We're, we got that clamped. Two-point game. 26 to 24. We got to take it slow. Minute and 17 left. This is for a logo in 200,000 BC, y'all. We hit solo wide open for three. He missed. And I want to show a picture on the screen, bro. Apparently, this was a full bar because we all had meters on, bro. And you can't see your teammates' meters anymore. But, bro, full bar for the lead for logos and 200 KVC. They get a fast break dunk. And now it's a four point game. We get it back, though. And grinding slasher was going crazy, bro. That dude was not missing many contestant lineup. 28 to 26. Remember, everyone has only bronze badges. We're trying to get a stop. 18 seconds, six second differential with the shot clock and the game clock. Fana throws it down to Iggy Mo. And I don't know why we only had the guard down there. Like, Tonio should have been down there helping. We shouldn't have fouled there, but like, it wasn't his fault. 13 seconds. He misses the first free throw, hits the second free throw, and bro, we got to go for the tie, man. We got to go for the tie. 10 seconds for a logo and 200,000 BC. Five seconds. They fouled Tonio intentionally. Inbound with three and a half seconds to go. I'm open in the corner. They hit solo on the left wing. And it's up. And he missed it. And that is game. And I'm not going to lie, bro. They should have hit me right here. I feel like Iggy Mo forgot about the corner. He was just walling up the inbound. There was two guys on the inbound. 
let me know i feel like bro i could have had a corner shot right there but anyways y'all if you enjoyed the rec gameplay today make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel for build videos i'm about to show hella builds on the channel today we already have a builder breakdown on the channel right now go click the video on your screen right now go check it out i explained the entire builder from start to finish it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace